In this video, we will discuss 10th standard physics topics. Chapter 7, Energy Management. Now, we are dealing with combustion, partial combustion, complete combustion. Combustion, partial combustion and complete combustion. Since the name of the chapter is energy management. Let us list out some familiar energy forms. Heat energy, light energy, electrical energy and solar energy. Heat energy, light energy, electrical energy and solar energy. Moving on to our first topic, combustion. By taking these two examples, let me explain the process of combustion. One, burning of paper and a burning of coal. In both of these examples, the substances are reacting with the oxygen present in the air to produce heat and light. In both of these examples, the substances are reacting with the oxygen. Oxygen present in the air to produce heat and light. From this, we can understand that presence of oxygen is a must for combustion. Citing these two examples, combustion can be defined as chemical combination of a substance with the oxygen involving the production of heat and light. Chemical combination of a substance with oxygen involving the production of heat and light. Based on the availability of oxygen, combustion can be of two types. One, partial combustion. Two, complete combustion. Combustion can be of two types. Partial combustion and a complete combustion. Partial combustion occurs when availability of oxygen is less. Whereas, Complete combustion occurs in presence of more oxygen. Partial combustion occurs when availability of oxygen is less. Whereas, complete combustion occurs in presence of more oxygen. Now, let us see what is partial combustion. See, these examples, burning of wet paper and burning of wet firewood. Crumbled paper or wet paper or burning of wet firewood. Now we can see the observation of burning of a crumbled paper. Observation of burning of Crumbled paper. Incomplete burning of paper. Incomplete burning of paper. More smoke is produced. Time consuming. More amount of carbon monoxide is produced. Less amount of carbon dioxide is produced. For the formation of carbon dioxide, more oxygen supply is needed for the formation of carbon dioxide. For the formation of carbon dioxide, more oxygen supply is needed. Because in one molecule of carbon dioxide, two atoms of oxygen are present. Two oxygen atoms are present in one molecule of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Di means two. Di means two. Mono means one. 
in carbon monoxide in one molecule of carbon monoxide there is only one atom of oxygen so for the formation of carbon dioxide more oxygen supply is needed now what is complete combustion let us see the examples burning of non crumbled paper or burning of flat paper burning of flat paper uh, burning of dry firewoods burning of dry firewood observations of burning of non crumbled paper are complete burning observation of uh, burning of a non crumbled paper complete burning you can see paper is completely burnt less smoke is produced less smoke is produced not time consuming it is not time consuming less carbon dioxide carbon monoxide is produced and more carbon di carbon dioxide is produced less carbon monoxide and more carbon dioxide is produced the reason behind this was explained earlier carbon dioxide is more there is sufficient oxygen for the formation of co2 so co2 is more and co is less now we can tabulate the difference between partial combustion and complete combustion the difference between partial combustion and complete combustion you can see in partial combustion there is loss of fuel there is loss of fuel wastage of fuel time consuming partial combustion is time consuming more smoke is produced in partial combustion the amount of carbon monoxide is more than co2 therefore less amount of CO2 more amount of carbon monoxide but in complete combustion there is no loss of fuel fuel is saved not time consuming less smoke is produced C less CO is produced more carbon dioxide is produced carbon monoxide is more harmful than carbon dioxide we know that carbon monoxide is more harmful to us than carbon dioxide now let us finalize today's topic by defining partial combustion and complete combustion partial combustion is a reaction in which fuels react with less oxygen producing light heat soot large amount of carbon monoxide and less carbon dioxide partial combustion is a reaction in which fuels react with less oxygen producing light heat soot large amount of carbon monoxide and less amount of carbon dioxide whereas complete combustion is a reaction in which fuels react intensively with oxygen producing carbon dioxide steam and heat light complete combustion is a reaction in which fuels react intensively with oxygen producing more amount of carbon dioxide less amount of carbon monoxide steam heat and light steam heat and light and that's all for today's discussion if you enjoyed today's session please like share and subscribe my channel simple physics 
and click the bell button for future videos and updates.